the India Community Center in Silicon Valley's Milpitas, California, where some of the best table tennis in North America is played. Three Olympians, half the U.S. team, are practicing here. They include China-born Jia Qi Zheng, who has seen how players in China get government and financial support, but not in America. It's really difficult to get funding for a player like us, play table tennis. I create a GoFundMe, then post on Facebook. I hopefully like people who love table tennis and can support like, athletes like us. Chinese-American Lily Zhang was the first American ping pong player to win a medal at the Youth Olympic Games. She points out that in the Olympics, ping pong is one of the few sports in which the U.S. has never medaled. Like when I was a junior too, I mean, we've won a medal at the World Junior Championships. Like we can compete with the top countries, Japan, China, you know. But it's just difficult when we reach like 18, 19, when we go to college. Like it's not an NCAA sport and, you know, there's no league here, no professional league. So we can't really support ourselves. Look around the center and you'll find that even in America, the game is still dominated by players of Asian heritage. Five of the six U.S. team members are Chinese-American, while one is 16-year-old Indian-American Kanek Jha. What people don't realize is the amount of spin we have, the speed, and of course the mental. It's table tennis is very mental sport. In America, ping pong is still often considered a recreational sport. Most people don't understand the skill, speed, and determination it takes to become a champion. My friend INA believes she has what it takes to become a champion and to beat this college dorm room champion. This 11-year-old killer is just one reason why U.S. Olympic coach Massimo Costantini believes despite the hurdles, ping pong in the U.S. will continue to make strides. Uh, kids uh, are very well uh, motivated to make the same results as Lili or Jaci. This is a place where uh, we are producing the top players uh, in uh, in U.S., but we don't want to stop here. We want to go overseas so in order to give for the future generation where they can say, hey, if they already done, I can also do that. Mark New, CCTV, Milpitas, California.